I'm so happy that David is finally here. He'll be my partner in building Castoria. We have the same quest that we are on. Building a new paradigm living space, building a Florence of the 21st century, building a hub of the modern day renaissance that humanity is going through. That's our mission, the first steps. Yeah, we're taking, we're taking right now. Here's the highest part of the land, yeah. David, what's your first impression of the land? I'm very curious. <laughs> you want to share? Mm. <laughs> the first thing that comes to my mind is it feels so peaceful. Mm. Like it feels uh, so powerful and peaceful. And it feels so expensive that you can look like all around you and yeah. you can look so far. And it's so quiet, but not in a, not, 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 not in a noise yeah. sense, but yeah, in yeah. a... Yeah, frequency sense. Yeah, frequency sense. Yeah. Yeah. Super, super beautiful. Super beautiful. And when I imagine like fears like a shala where yeah. you can be and get comfy. Yeah. Like that's that's awesome. This place like here, we're having the shala here, this feels really like on top of on yeah. top of the yeah, 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 yeah. Because there there's the mountain. Yeah. There is like the view all over the island, the other side you have the view too. Every time I'm showing this place to a new person, I'm more in love with it than before. <laughs> it feels like coming here for the first time. It's so, so nice. Like every time I'm here there are new new corners that I discover and new yeah new magic that that gets experienced so <laughs> it's a wonderland. This is how they how they show where the border is, these little ones. And then we connect the little potok they are called with the purple flower so that we have like a natural border. Uh, without putting a fence or something. Look, there's the big, the big papaya that is waiting for us. Can you see it? Mm. Oh yeah. What are you most excited about? That's the part I'm most excited about because I can feel like there there will be the first um, place where a lot mm -hmm. of things are moving. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm already thinking a lot about where would you put the water? Mm -hmm. Where uh, would you put the, the electricity? Electricity. Yeah. Oh, no, I think this is what what so many people underestimate. Like what is what is taking place mm -hmm. below the ground? You only mm -hmm. see the tent, but what needs to be in place mm -hmm. so that mm -hmm. you can really live here. And you but that's, that's, that's why the site plan is so important. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like to have like um, clearance where yeah. do we put these and then we can check like how many meters do we yeah. need and which yeah. uh, size do we need yeah. and yeah, 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 yeah. components and so on. Yeah. Trying to figure out where the platforms will be. You, so you would, you, would, you would put the next platform already there? Or, or just two, like, like one, one in the back? I think this would be too close, right? Imagine there are like kids and one, one, one child is crying in the evening and the other cannot sleep, like something like that would be not nice. Yeah. So I'd say putting the, putting the second one really on the other side of the, of the ball. Mm -hmm. And then maybe the third one a little bit like, like over there. So like, like a triangle, oh, okay. you know what I mean? Hi Adi, thank you for coming. Every tent should have their own just nature view. Nature, yeah. That would be nice. Not to direction, yeah. not to the next. To the next one, yeah. One, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm so happy that David is finally here. He'll be my partner in building Castoria. 
we get to know each other in Poland in the first Custodia cohort and as it turned out we have the same quest that we are on building a new paradigm living space building a Florence of the 21st century building a hub of the modern day renaissance that humanity is going through where individual and collective solutions and not solutions responses I would call them responses to the meta craze can be developed and where we can live a life that is so nourished so powerful so full of life force energy so full of alignment that we are bubbling over with potential that can just be gifted into this world that's our mission and the first steps yeah we're taking we're taking right now yesterday he arrived today we're going to work third one is there facing this direction looks really on, nice on th this has a lot of privacy yeah. right on this side of the bamboo yeah. I, yeah. I thought the same when yeah. i was walking there i was like okay we need to put one there because this is really like secluded yeah, yeah. facing this direction third, uh, like like um when the first is here like the third yeah. would be like around here yeah, yeah. Uh, next to the bamboo yeah. Third, yeah. and the yeah, yeah. fifth would be facing this direction mm -hmm. so this is the view of number six there's the mountain currently you don't see it but it's there and now we need to find number seven and number eight more closely to the river and they have all of them have their own like unique spirit yeah for me yeah. that's yeah. super nice yeah there. it's like they are very different yeah i even thought about uh, naming naming each one of the tents yeah. and what would be the name <laughs> in the beginning i had the feeling that eight platforms with tents is a lot for this area but the more we go down it's like I don't there could be so. even be 12, I guess. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Without a problem, so. without feeling like too it too close. Like what you, if if you would like someday maybe have like another kind of community space on this area too, or no? I think know? this will just be the private with with more more sitting little sitting platforms to do a call to sit together whatever. Yeah. I think to have them like in between too. Mm -hmm. I think that's very nice. Yeah. But the big community area will be on the upper mm -hmm. part of the land mm -hmm. with the shala and the kitchen and yeah, so on I, I the one. Yeah. this is what you signed up for david yeah. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> that's the hiking experience yeah I yeah wanted. you wanted it yeah. hiking in your home well, we found it we sacrificed a lot but we found it productive session at the land very nice we are slowly getting clarity on where to put the tents but now we're heading back home and i'm gonna do a test drive of a new electric scooter currently i'm, I'm only renting a scooter and the electric scooter that i have is not powerful enough to climb the steep hill to the land so um I got a sales rep from Polytron, one of the manufacturers of electric scooters, to come up here and we're gonna do a test drive and see if this one is powerful enough for our mountainous terrain. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's not working. She yeah. needed to walk. All right, back home. As it turned out, even this one, the beast, that has double the double the motor power um, compared to the little electric bike that I currently renting, was not able to get two people with luggage <laughs> represented by ten coconuts up the hill. So. That search needs to continue. Will we find any electric scooter that has enough power <laughs> for, for the place we're living in? I don't know. Gibt's noch mehr oder was? 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 No Reis, no Reis. Ach, ich dachte jetzt kommt noch die Torte. Schade. Okay. Die Torte, ja. Die Schokotorte. This looks so nice. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you.
I just put Leo to bed and David already prepared the whole side plan. <laughs> Look at that. The thing is, like, that's definitely not, definitely not like the exact position, but I think it's good enough to do what we wanted to do, like yeah. to put 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 the post then. Yeah. And this is the this is this this is the seven, right? The the maybe we number this them. Yeah, we should. I do think that. that makes sense. So six. this is the eight, okay. and this is the six. What is that? That. That must be the five. And that is five. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We went back uphill, and then there was this moment where we were standing on this side of the border, around here, mm -hmm. and we were like, look, down is the seven. And we were like, where's the four? The four is up, maybe we'll put one in between. Do you remember this moment? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We were thinking about putting the eight here. You remember that? I have something very exciting, friends. Look at that, my work <laughs> of today and yesterday. Of course, you already know this. This is Custodia, our incubator for birthing the more beautiful world. This is what we're working on here in every single second right now. But what you don't know is this, the third cohort of Custodia is waiting for your applications since the first one that I hosted back in Poland a couple of weeks ago was a huge huge success and the second cohort that is taking place here in Bali in December is almost at full capacity we're getting more and more questions from people asking like okay like how will all this continue can I can I be a part of all that in 2025 too you can the third cohort is starting on January 4th and taking place all the way until January 31st. Four weeks. The perfect start into the new year. Four weeks here with us on the land. And as you saw today, each and every day we are doing another step towards being able to host 16 16 custodians here on the land hmm so if that's something that's calling you and you wanna do the perfect start into this new chapter of 2025 here with us I'd love to read your application all the links in our deck I find you in the deck too streamlined it a little bit put in some new developments regarding the land everything is in the deck i link it here for you and sure it's a gift it's not a product i'm selling it's not a pitch it's just an invitation it's an invitation to receive this gift yeah the story is fully living in the gift economy it's not I don't sell anything anymore. I put out my sacred work and yeah, invite the people with whom I feel a strong resonance to be able to create magic here on this sacred land. So if you feel a calling, fill out our form and let's hop on a call. With that being said, <laughs> thank you for our shared journey today. It was super beautiful start the in-person co-creation process with David we're gonna continue tomorrow craft the site plan so that next week after the Galungan holiday the team can start building <laughs> hmm. see you guys tomorrow thank you Suksuma.